Hey people, in that last movie I was reading here in this False Prophets, and I was showing how most all the words in here are used only one time. I didn't even catch all the times this word 5197, you know here it's backwards and it's a pot seal, the top two, and it's used one of one time. And this same word 5197 of the witty pun, you know one of one time, and here's again 5197, you know, is backwards and forwards, a potty top, you know, one of one time. And then down at the the next to the last line of this poem, it's used three more times, and here it's just a pot, 5197, one of one time. And then from tip, you know, 5197, one of one time. And after looking up these words, you know, this word here is closer than a lot of them. This should have been the 5197 here, the topsy twin. But if you look at their definition, you know, it's the prattler, or I will prophecy, or do prattle, who prophecy, so they shall prophecy. But if you hold on the number here, it'll tell you what they say that word means. You know, to drip, drip, to distill, prophecy, preach, discourse. And so I went to look at these words. You know, and it uh, it comes up 18 times, and only, you know, one time all, but three times. One time it's used three times, and, and twice it's used two different ways. But it's always just this, this one time, it's always spelled different. And if you click on the word number, it'll bring you here and you can see that their definition is, is usually to drop, to drip, discourse, dripped, dropped, drip water. And the translations are drip, drip, dripping, drop, to speak or spokesman. But this definition here, you know, to drop, drip, to distill, totally confirms everything I said about this language being distilled from tip the tears the eye waters from tip the tears ease you now I told you when it says and he will sprinkle the blood with his finger that's the word for sprinkle the ease from tip the tears ease and this just totally confirms that this word for war is from El Kami, from El Chet Kam E, from the bind to divide from life. It's from alchemy, is the is the alchemy of the language. You know, from the tip the tears ease. And so I imagine if I look up somewhere in a German dictionary, they'll call this a prattler this thing on the top that would be where all this prattler comes from from the tip the tears ease you can see it here in the definitions of a magpie babbler chatterbox chatterer pratter a spouter and it probably come from the shape of these spouts and in the act of the sputtering when it's chattering spitting out the liquor so they totally admit that they made up all of this prattle prophecy. So they shall prophecy the prattler or I will prophecy. It's all just totally come out of their imagination. But I went to looking at these other words to see if uh, if they ever came out anything close to the same about the potty and the potty top. And I think it was this one that comes up twice. I looked at it, and I seen this word, the murderer, the murderers, the murderers, you know, backwards and forwards, murderers. It had me interested, so I went to read this. And son of man, set your face toward the south and preach. This is that word, the drip. And preach against the south and prophecy against the forest the land of the Negev and usually they say the same word as the south border when it's talking about the borders of 
of Judah, I believe. But what the hell do they mean against in prophecy against the forest and the land of the south? What the hell are they talking about? And I, and I noticed this word, um, your, here. They give forest, and it's not. It reads backwards and forwards after this tack, and it's Royer, R-O-Y-O-R. So I had knew what a Royer was from watching my favorite show on PBS with old Roy Underhill, the Woodwright Shop. And I had remember him telling me that a Royer is the occupational name for a wheelwright. You know, somebody who would build these old cartwheels. So I clicked on the interlinear chapters to get this all in perspective. You know, it's Ezekiel 20, and, and he blows my mind. He's like he came from the future. He describes all this future technology. And it's just the end. You know, it started the prophecy against the South. started 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And so there's a lot of a lot of the Bible starts like this. Sometimes uh, it's Moses in place of this word when they say it's Moses. But this is how they'd ever have you, Al Lamor. And I th I think Lamor means of command. It's either of command or to elaborate, you know, Amar is a word, and there's all kinds of words. But, uh, you know, this and furthermore, you know, this is the word that's on the first page of the Bible all the time, and it's just, and God said, let there be, and there was, you know, and there was, and it was. And it wasn't just let there be, it's a wage, you know, how they are the wage, W-E-W-I-E-J, the wage how they get by their job and so how they ever how they would ever have you backwards and forwards eve or hve have y e w -E, how they ever have you aisle you know backwards i l a aisle of command so this reads i l a or even, you know, ever have you H-Y-L-A, Heil, command. And so Isle, you know, is the same as the Latin Heil, a matter, the fundamental matter of all things. It's like our dark matter, what we call dark matter. And in the ancient uh, alchemical drawings, it was all outside. You know, this is the deuce, the god, and this is extra omnia, of extra of all, and this is the hyle, and, and a lot of them uh, interpret as all outside, you know, everything outside of God is dark matter, and so that makes me think, you know, that, that God means, you know, the chemistry that can be understood, and everything outside is just dark matter and not understood. But this kind of clicks, you know, how they'd ever have you heil, you know, to me. And so to me, you know, this is God talking. And so here, you know, heil is the God. And so it's like they've changed this word deuce as to what's understood into God instead of heil, what's not understood, the dark matter. And then this is Ben and then backwards and forwards. Been made M D A D S S I S Odysseys. Been made Odysseys. You know, Odysseys is it? Odyssey, the long and wandering voyage. Been made Odysseys. You know, ping the place. Ping is a position when you're on the boat, and ping is a position. Is a position. You're pinging stars or pinging the ship's spot in the ocean the ping give the place give dark time and you know your face toward the south the place give dark time and well if if you're up at the north you know when the sun is in the south it's going to be your dark times your winter and been made odysseys the place give dark time and we top, W-E-T-P, you know, this is, this is the top, to collect the open, 
you know, the top of your bottle is, is where it, it narrows down to collect the opening, top of a container. We top. And that's that word, you know, they say is distill. And here it's just preach one of two. We top L. We topple, you know, to turn over. We topple and then backward. So this is M U R from where and then D R W S from where draws. You know, some people say that down south here we talk with a southern draw. And so you would be saying we talk with a southern south if you said a southern draw. But that's where that south comes from. And you'll see on old maps, you know, they'll say the south is the drum, D R U M. But the final M, this is a S, is draws, from where draws, and we topple from where draws. There's, it means that they're they're trying to preach against the preach against from where it draws of this to the south, and the naval arroyer, the side engine. This is the side E N G N you know, be in, in the naval arroyer, in the naval A-L arroyer, the side engine. And it's like, oh, Ezekiel, he was foreseeing the future of these old side wheel paddle boats that were common during the Civil War. And if you want to know more about the Civil War, you know, everything they told us was a lie. You get more accurate information from O Ezekiel over here. Son of man, set your face toward the south and preach against the south and prophecy against the forest, the land engine. And so what the problem was is we had these huge forests down here and it was full of a superior wood for building ships. These ancient cypress trees. So we got the world's worst termites in the world and uh and these cypress trees oh they live standing for 15,000 years and they'll fall over the storm and sit at the bottom of the swamp for another 30,000 years you know and the termites can't eat them it's a superior wood for building boats out of they don't need any kind of treatment they last forever and that's what the whole war was about was our forest we have virgin pine forest and cypress and after the Civil War they come down here and they wiped out all the trees everything big enough to build a boat out of because they was afraid that the South was going to take over you know take over the world with its new Navy so this word ENG you know E-N-G-N -N, you know the cycle to carry in you see it again here and the reason they write it like this here it is you know E-N-G-N -N, or ENGB, ENGV, ENGEN. The reason they write it like this, and, and it's the same reason they write words that start with A that read backwards, is so when you hit these lines that read forward and backwards, here is the engine this way, and you read all the way up to this end of the tunnel, the mirror or whatever, and you read everything backwards. You know, ignoring all the punctuation on the way back, you just read straight through. And so all these words that read, you know, backwards, because they start with an A, are still the same word. It's still in day. It's still Rama. You know, and this is still in Jin. Except it's, instead of E-N-G-B, you know, they replaced the B in the Greek. It was just an E-N. And so it's still in the Jin, G-N-E. It's an engine in either direction. So I had read this, and it was it was totally blowing my mind. And especially when I got down here to the Lord God, behold, I will kindle. And I was reading this as N, you know, E-N, N, and then Nimitz, N-I-M-X. You know, X is T-S, in Nimitz, it give back. And I was like, you know, Nimitz is a nuclear powered uh, a carrier and I had to look that up and it was named after this Chester W. Nimitz and uh, it's a little strange here you know because 
he had a grandfather and son and had no father. And the story about his, his grandfather, uh, you know, they were all sailors. And the roots could be traced back to the, the Knights of the Sword, 1202, with Pope Innocent. It, I didn't do it. And they immigrated to Charleston, South Carolina. But in 1846, he had joined this Adel Severian Club. You know, and if you break this down, you know, the Adels is nobles, the nobles of rain and that's where this bundle of 13 arrows comes from and the lone star of texas and then carl jr changed his name to charles henry nimitz you know they dropped the vaughn off of it meaning good and he moved to texas and joined the texas rangers in 1851 you know after working for cypress lumber company's bookkeeper and in 52 he built this nimitz hotel Locals called it the steamboat because of the way it looked. And it had a strange assortment of, of regulars there. You know, Horace Greeley from from the New York Tribune, Johnny Ringo, outlaws, presidents, you know, generals of the Confederate and the Union Army, O. Henry, he's a short story writer, Grant, Robert E. Lee. You know, it had both sides of the war and uh, and the newspaper, you know, it's like, mm, and they're hidden off over here in this nowhere town in Texas. It's like they probably put all this together. They're probably the ones that created the war in order to get the money, the trees from the South. So after reading this strange story that ends with, from muscle, muscle is who, you know, usually when they double the words up like this, the first one will be very. And they changed it to speak parables where anything with muscle usually means power, your rulers. So I had to go back and read the top. And so it's it's different. It's, uh, it's just a rebellion in Egypt. And then it goes to rebellion in the desert. And then it goes to rebellion in the land. And then judgment and restoration before he has this prophecy against the south and this word for will you judge them will you judge and then they give it to them is it's it's spot from to its spout you know they see the add the u here the spout it's spot from to its spout you know that's up there on the the judge's seat and it talked about this sea of galilee a lot you know, they turned it to idols. And you know, Galu, that was the Indian god of justice. And the Galu, the justice lie. But it's also, the reason they turn it to idols is because the, the Galu is uh, the Indian dolls that they'll set up tiers of in their celebration. And it talks about this hell seeing a lot. You know, the H-L-L seeing... You can see how the same words here is, you know, of I and to see, and then I and I to seeing this. Of seeing this, they interpret here as in whose sight. But it has the same seeing that's in here, you know, of seeing. They changed it just before. Of seeing this. And then down here in line 11, it says, you know, and I gave them my statues. This word for statutes is the same word that the Greeks called Cheops, and it's the same word that the Egyptians called Khufu, Khufuti. And this is uh, the said to be the builder of the Great Pyramid. You can see the, the spelling, the, the Chet, and then the F, Q. You know, the Greeks, the Romans turn that Q into a, a P often. And then you. And it's this Khufu. And he's said to be the builder of the, the Great Pyramid of Khufu. But there's not much on him. Everything disappeared. They can't find his statues. Just this one little bitty, the three inch tall one. And you can see the spelling of the name here. You know, this is the Khufu. Khufu. You know, it's the H, the Chet. This is a, this is a hatched circle. It's can't tell it's got lines across it and this was their cue this serpent down here the f the sound the snake makes makes f khufu 
And so this was his name, uh, Kanu Khufu. And this represents, you know, the creator God. You know, the Kanum Khufu. And so the writing is about him. They said he was much hated and everything was tore up. But you know how that works. You know, the people are dumb. And the government and media propaganda is what caused people to tear down the statues. And the reason he was hated is because uh, it tells it there in, in that chapter that he got rid of all of the gods. And so you can't kill the gods. What it means is he harnessed the supernatural powers. You know, he put them in their place and used the power and got rid of all the superstitions. And it was the priests that were hating him, not the people. The people were loving him. They had much more time because they got rid of all these false priests that were creating all these supernaturals. And that's why this word, kufuta, has evolved into abolish, delete, remove, obliterate, to wipe clean. You know, kufuta. You hear it, C-H, ku. And then the K is a, is a F. That's, that's Q, P-H. Kufuti. And so this T-I on the end of here, you know, kufu, then T means writings, the written work. And Herodotus says that the pyramid was built by Cheops or Khufu. And Mantheo also says that Khufu received a contempt against the gods and that he had written a sacred book about that and that and that he received that book during his travel. Mantheo received that book during his travel of Egypt. The story about the alleged sacred book is questioned by modern Egyptologists for it would be highly unusual that a pharaoh wrote books and it's such a precious document could be sold away so easily. No, we are uh, we sell books real cheap all the time. It's just a copy. And so the builders of the Great Pyramid, they had printing presses. It's ancient technology and that's where refute and and why Khufu now means to delete, to remove, to obliterate. They they cleared all that knowledge. They destroyed all that printing presses. But you look in the oldest artwork in Egypt and you can see the printing press. And you can see in this this name, you know, the H means to divide. And Q-U is few. It means three. Divide to three written works. You see it on the third day of creation and, and said, God, make few too. And then again down here, from fuse. Make the three from fuse to connect to three. You know, it's in the story of the seed of life. You know, first there was a point, and then there was a circle, and then he moved to the edge, and he created another circle, and this is the part that's fused in between the seed. And fuse, you know, from fuse means the center connect from, final M pronounces an S, from fuse. And this is backwards and forwards, and it's from with them, you know, like with them, from with them, fuse, fused. So this program's loading up on me. So uh, I'm gonna put and make another movie, just the Prophets Against the South, and I'll read these uh, these four lines here. And uh, we got most everything out of the way, so I'll be able to just read through it, and y'all be able to get it. All right, I'm gonna cut this off here. Good day.